Let's see how to open and send a finishing job to the Valiani Integra. We're going to demonstrate a cut for a 4x4 square that's been printed and then mounted 56 up on 5mm 4X. For any job you're doing on the Integra, the first step is to make sure you have the right tool selected for the work you're going to do. If the tool you need is not currently installed in the Integra, you'll need to change the tool. To do that, you'll go to the Smart Cut software and spin out the tool menu here. Select the Tool Change button and the Integra will bring the cutting head to the operator side of the table. You can then change the tool as needed. To change the tool, you'll need the 3mm key provided. Loosen the two screws located on opposite sides of the tool you're using. The oscillating tool also needs to be plugged into the upper left position on the operator side of the cutting head, as shown. Once seated all the way down in the head, re-tighten the two screws that hold the tool in place and check to make sure it's tight. You'll now need to tell the Integra what tool you've installed. To change that, in SmartCut, select the Select Tool button here in the left menu. Select the oscillating head tool, then tell it which blade you have inserted. In this case, we're using the 15 mm blade. Blade selection is critical, as the Integra will automatically adjust based on the length of the blade being used. When you have the correct selections, select OK. In the spin-out menu, lower left, you can select this button to move the head out of the way of the table so that you can load your material to be finished. To load material, you'll need to place the material in the home position on the table against the registration pins. This will ensure the material you're finishing is in a good location to be cut. Once the material is loaded, you'll need to open up Image Cut from the vStudio menu here. Go to File, Import, and find the file where you have it stored on your computer. You can see the cuts we'll be doing when the file loads. While the cuts are correctly placed in this file, they're the wrong color for the oscillating tool. For the oscillating tool, the line should be pink. Let's change that. From the selection window here, lower left, select Normal Cut. You can see the software selects all the normal cuts in the file. From the Cutting Property menu, select the drop-down, and then select Oscillating Cut. Then select the Tool button next to the drop-down and ensure the 15mm blade is selected. If you click anywhere in the file, you can see now that the cuts are pink and the software knows it's using the oscillating tool on these marks. Let's execute the job. First, set the material thickness here. Select the camera button here to turn on the camera. Now's a good time to turn on the vacuum table. Once ready, the Integra will search for the first crop mark nearest to the home position along the x-axis of the table. Once the first crop mark is found, select the Found button. The Integra's camera will track to the next crop mark. Once in the screen, select Found again. Repeat this process until you've found all four crop marks. When you've found the last crop mark, the head will return to the home position on the table. You can now select Send to Cut. The software will open Smart Cut. The last step in the job setup is to select the material you're cutting. Do that here in the top right menu. In this case, we're selecting 4x 5mm. Select Cut. And finally, select Start. The project will run until complete.
When the job finishes, the head will move clear of the vacuum table. You can then shut off the vacuum table and retrieve the finished pieces.